And we are back. Ladies and gentlemen, this is Broomfield, Colorado, Total Escape Games. I'm John Stevens, joined by Adam Katnig. And it is time for the finals of this X-Wing Store Championship. We just watched Jim Frank play this scum list to a victory over Tom Arnold, so we're not going to spend a ton of time on it. Fen Rao, Asajj Ventress, Jakku Gunrunner, we kind of know what's going on here. And on the other side of the table, Tyson Sparks, who we watched play in round one, but Adam wasn't with us. Let's take a look at that list, Adam. Yeah, so we've got uh, Ray in the Falcon with the Millennium Falcon title, the new one, which lets him do the three sloop. Um, expertise, um, smuggling compartment, inertial dampeners, Finn, crew, and Kanan Jarrus. Uh, we've also got Nora Wexley in the ARC-170 with Alliance Overhaul title, R2-D2, C-3PO, and uh, Push the Limit, and Vectored Thrusters to add the barrel roll action. So here we are, folks, the finals of this store championship. Jim, Frank, Tyson, Sparks, the players are deployed and ready to go. We just watched Jim play. Looks pretty similar, just sort of reversed a little bit. Yeah, we got a Saj on the bottom now. And Tyson Sparks deploys lower right-hand corner. It's a two-bank towards the field for that Jakku Gunrunner. We're going to see Jakku Gunrunner and then a Saj Ventress. Ventress with a three-straight maneuver up the left-hand side of your screen. Then we'll see both of Tyson's ships move, and Fen Rao ends the round. Gonking a shield. No push to limit from Jim Frank. Yeah, I uh, usually use these first couple turns to just gonk up that shield battery, save it for later. Short little move there and a focus token for Nora Wexley. And a longer move out of Ray. That's a three straight there. Oh, Ray going right ahead. Leading the charge. Fen Rao here with a two straight. Yeah, kind of a similar approach. Seems Jim likes to keep his Fen close to his Jack Who. He did last game at least. Yeah, in the hopes of probably uh, tractor beaming with the Jack Who and then letting Fen just clean it up with the one less agility which in in this round might not be good for tyson uh both his ships have a single green dice so there's a boost from fen rao so what are we expecting to see tyson do here as a fellow rebel player i don't know <laughs> Uh, Expert look. analysis from Adam Katnick, <laughs> folks. Expert analysis. I totally know what I'm doing all the time, everywhere. <laughs> but um, It's a burden, though. I'm glad I don't have to live with. <laughs> now, he definitely wants to try and keep uh, as much of Jim Frank's ships in... Well, not as many, but at least whatever he's trying to shoot at inside of Ray's arc to get the full fin reroll... Um, shenanigans done with that, which is where that title comes in very handy with the Kane and Jarrus crew. He can do the three turnaround, um, remove the stress with Kanan, and then get an action as well from that. Um, this is a very good combo. Makes it a lot easier to keep that arc facing forward uh, towards the well, whoever wants to shoot at. And then Nora... Uh, with her pilot ability, is just hits like a truck. So Nora's gonna want to try and, um, you know, be kind of right behind Ray. Um, just kind of be the cleanup crew, if you will. Uh, she can spend a target lock to add a focus result, and then um, with uh, hopefully with the push to limit, gives her the extra focus. So she can use that and just push everything up, throw out. You, uh, you can get five damage pretty handily when you get the range one with the title. And Tyson's dials are down. Tyson uh, tends to sort of pre-plan the beginning of most games for himself. So first couple of turns for Tyson Sparks tend to be very rapidly played. He knows what he wants to do. Jim Frank is still holding a couple of his dials, or one of his dials. That Fen Rao dial is still spinning around in Jim's hand, as you can see on our player camera there. 
Jim Frank a much slower, more deliberate player. He does set that dial down. Yeah, I think uh, there's one game. Quad jumper starting us off with a three straight. Does that fit? Or does he? Ooh, just fits, looks <laughs> like. Slides right in there next to Fenrau. We're seeing this quad jumper move uh, closer to the middle of the table than we saw last time. Yeah, it's going right, right for the center. Long straight maneuver from Massage Ventress. Oh, oh, long K turn from That's Massage right. Ventress. That huge ship has the 5K turn on that dial, which is... It also has three green dice. That looks <laughs> silly and is a little absurd. Redonkulous. Nora Wexley with a one bank maneuver there and a focus token. I do want waffles now, though. <laughs> you mentioned the waffle iron. Ray with a one <laughs> bank maneuver. Got a pancake coming up from the bottom and right. a focus token. <laughs> We'll see if Fen Rao is aggressive here. A slow two forward from Fen Rao. Might mean we go a second turn without any combat, depending on Jim Frank's actions. Boost might stick him at range three. Players leaning over the table so you can stare at the top of their heads from the overhead camera. Jim Frank still... Debating those actions there. Just a reminder for our viewers there, under the new rules for store championship season, finals are no longer untimed. This is a 120 minute maximum game. Meaning that I'll never have to watch dueling corn horns with R2-D2 fly circles around a table again. Thank goodness. Amen. <laughs> Amen. Yep. Uh, so about two hours. We've got, what, minute 50-ish left on the clock? Hour 50-ish left on this clock so far. Jim Frank still debating actions. We're barrel rolling away from combat, so we will not see any firing here. Yeah, both being very patient. Don't want to jump the gun too early and get in the wrong position. They want to get right up and in each other's business with the Fen and the Jakku. Oh. Attempt a boost left. It's going to be real close. It fits in there just barely. Whew. Expert maneuvering. M -m 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 maneuver. Or dumb luck. <laughs> we'll never know. If I can even say the word. <laughs> and, Players and go back to dials there after two turns without combat. That shadow caster did that long K turn, picked up a stress token. really sticks Tyson with a decision here. He can bring that Falcon towards Asajj or towards Fen Rao, which is right here. Hmm. Ooh. Oh, man. It's, this, is, this is the one point in, in the game where, you know, that it's, it's the deciding factor almost. Who are you going to go after? So in one hand, he could go straight towards Asajj, and you'll pretty much get in range because, you know, large base ships, they're going to be close enough because they have to move forward. Uh, Asajj is stressed, so she, well, even if she had the zero stop, she couldn't. Um, but also the R uh, Nora and the Ark is a little bit more on the right side and probably won't be able to make it all the way up to where Asajj is. So if they go towards Fen, that's, you got two ships on Fen. But, and I believe you can probably keep yourself out of combat with Asajj here. If you send both Ray and Wexley towards the top and towards Fen Rao there, I don't know that the Ventress can get in. Or the, the Gunrunner? The, uh, whether oh, not Ventress. Ventress no. can actually get yeah. in there. <laughs> um, I, I almost think Asajj might turn in this turn. And... That ship, as we've seen, has a three hard turn. Yep, and it's and green. And it's green. 
so she can cover a lot of ground here if she so desires. Yep, uh, orbit and turret. This is generally what we see from Asajj. Orbit, turret, and stress. Tyson Sparks has put down his first dial. You can see him leaning over the table there, trying to make a decision on that second dial. Jim Frank puts down a dial for Fen Rao. We're waiting on just a quad jumper dial. That Jaku Gunrunner did get to put an Omega Leader on an asteroid last round, and then it died rapidly. <laughs> well, well, we've got uh, or, uh, Tyson has much tankier ships, so this this is a uh, quite a different matchup. If you're Tyson, are you comfortable jousting Nora Wexley and Fenrell? If you're Jim, are you comfortable with that? Ooh, well. I would, I I think I would take Nora's side any day simply because Nora's got the nine hit points. And R two D two and C three PO like Nora has mm -hmm. a lot of fun toys here. Yeah, Nora's a lot more survivable, whereas Fen is more of a missile. We're checking out trophies here. Apparently, I think they, uh, Dan's having fun putting the, it the winner, right in the way. The winner of gets Fen. a plaque and a buy at regionals and. When is the next regionals? Do you know? Uh, with the changes in the schedule, I don't remember when these regionals are. Um, yeah, we've had so much X-Wing. we've got <laughs> three months of this, and then we start regional season again. Yeah, there's it's been so much X-Wing, so much to do. We've been streaming like crazy, playing like crazy. I, 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 I live and sleep and dream X-Wing. <laughs> yeah. I feel like regionals is later in the year now because Worlds is always going to be May. That's right. They've moved that to May by adding another yeah, one. <laughs> I remember being sad because we always get these great crowds for regionals, but I don't even want to come to work in November and December in Colorado, so who knows how many people are going to travel for it. November to March is what I'm being told regional season is now. Okay. So that was a hard turn from Ray. Um, a long move there out of uh, Asajj Ventress while we were battling about regionals. There's going to be a lot of uh, dice rolled this turn. Yeah, it looks like Tyson went ahead and is gunning for Fen Rao. It's kind of uh, turning. And now Jim Frank has to make a decision here with Fen Rao. Fen Rao does not from a naked eye perspective, have an arc on Nora Wexley and clearly doesn't have an arc on Ray yet. Does have range though, so target lock. And yeah, and interesting. Nora did not get the target lock on Fen Rao, which I suppose isn't as important in this round, given I'm, their range. And I'm not sure that Fen Rao was in range because Nora moved before Fen Rao. Right. Mm -hmm. That's and Fen Rao barely was at range three here, and now Fen Rao's going to barrel roll away and avoid combat. Oh, okay. And that was a push the limit barrel roll. Yes, it was. So, so we get a stress token. Stole the target lock and got out of dodge. Asajj is going to assign Ray some stress. Kanan's on board. Whatever. Don't really care about that stress. Yeah, it's all good. There's a blind, whiny Jedi on board. <laughs> Sorry. Spoilers. It might be interesting with that debris in front of the, uh, the Falcon for this next turn. I suppose we could do the uh, one hard. So it does have that on the dial, which I always forget about. One hard. It will keep the sloop from being available. It's red for Ray. And Kanan can't remove that stress until movement, if memory serves. Uh, well, so it, it, and Kanan, it does. You could end up with a second stress if you end up over that debris field. Yeah, so with Ray, you would be able to still do the sloop. Um, oh, no, I guess it's because. Um... Uh, so Ray, we making an attack here at Asajj Ventrist. Removes it after a white maneuver. So greens or whites. Yeah, so it, it can do the white 
three bank, remove that stress, and then you get the other stress from turning around, if you so please. Okay, so focused two. One damage on one two. shield comes off Asajj Ventress there. Asajj, okay. Seven or seven hull, two shields left. And that barrel roll did get out of Norowex these range. And Ray's, I think. Yes, um, that's why Ray made the attack on Ventress. Okay. Range two at Ray, range three at Nora Wexley are the options here. Range two on to Ray is the attack decision. Hit and a crit on Ray. Ray loses two shields there. Range three at Ray here from the Jakku gun runner. One hit. And, oh, <laughs> I think that was, was that one of aid? It was double focus, so one more damage on Ray. Ray's down to two shields there. Players are back to dials here. We finally saw a little shooting. Asajj Ventress lost a shield. Ray lost a couple of shields. Pretty uneventful turn, really. It is coming on 8 p.m. here in Denver, Broomfield. Broomfield's a suburb of Denver. I always tell people I'm in Denver because they go, Broomfield? Where's Broomfield? <laughs> Where's Broomfield? Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, it's, it's, you know, you hear Aurora, Centennial, Arvada, blah, blah, blah. It's just, it's all Denver. <laughs> it is all Denver. It is the Denver metropolitan area. Tyson Sparks very rapidly gets his two dials down. Get some high fives. Because we're all about sportsmanship here in the X-Wing community. Jim yeah. Frank has none of his dials on this table yet. Sometimes I wonder if maybe Jim Frank is psychic. So he has to be able to see the face down dials on the table and then he'll make his decisions. Yeah. It's like uh, the guy in Yu Gi Oh that can see the other side of the cards. <laughs> Adam Ketnig, ladies and gentlemen, has just been fired from Back to Dials for making a Yu Gi Oh reference. Heart of the cards. Heart of the cards. Heart of the cards. <laughs> I am currently searching the uh, broadcast booth for a sharp object <laughs> to put us all out of our misery. I blame David Bernstein for putting Heart of the Cards in the brain. Every time we play, Heart of the Cards, Heart of the Cards. It's not what we're playing. It's not what we're playing. I'm actually trying to decide if I'm more insulted by a Yu-Gi-Oh reference or a David Bernstein reference. Ooh, I'm just, I'm just uh, knocking out of the park today. Knocking something out. <laughs> if you're not careful, it's going to be a couple of your teeth. Oh, boy. I don't even have workman's comp here. So a two four or two straight maneuver for the Jakku Gunrunner and a focus token. Will Patreon cover medical bills? <laughs> um, an attempted three straight just barely slides in behind Ray there. Got to move the uh, the arc here, yes. Yeah, maybe I'd almost do one or two bank with the arc, and then you've you got your choice. No, 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 not the arc. One seventy. Sorry, the firing arc on. Oh, the mobile arc. Yes, gotcha. the mobile arc on Asajj Ventress. Okay. First action is move that firing arc. Got a second action. He's announced to push the limit. So I assume the mobile arc is now pointing pilot left. Pilot left towards Ray there. Takes a target lock on Nora Wexley. Nora makes a one bank here. Focus. 
target lock Fen Rao. Oh, and that is a push to limit target lock, right? So we get a target lock and a stress token. There it is. Ray just plowing over that thing. Woo. Clears the stress with Kanan and then gets another stress from plowing into the uh, debris field there. That is a, uh, looks like a hit to me. A hit, no crit, so no damage. And the Tyson tries to assign a focus token, but can't. A two bank from Fen Rao here. Ooh, he's going right in front of Ray. Well, he's dancy though, so he's got an opportunity to break arcs. Which, of course, it doesn't matter with Ray. Yeah, it, it really the, the all that would do is uh, take away the rerolls from Ray's ability. Um, so, and then basically, then Finn is uh, not as important either. You say only, but those rerolls are huge. They they really like, are. In a dice game, dice modification, and dice rerolling is huge. It's all about mitigating the randomness of the dice. If you can get them to be consistent. Taking the boost action to get out of that. Yep, so yeah, he's he got out of the arc to uh, create a range one that. shot for Nora Wexley. Yeah, that's that's not better. <laughs> That's probably, I don't, I almost think that might be worse. Well, I guess it's about so, the same, actually. So Asajj Ventress assigns a uh, stress token to Nora Wexley there. Fenrau gets the first attack at Nora Wexley here. Ooh, I see a lot of paint. Spin the target lock. Rerolling only one die. Ooh, I think. I think Jim Frank is putting five hits, four Ooh. hits and a crit. He's three PO good at that. on zero here. Let's see what this one. It is dice. A zero, so three PO gets one. Tyson debating something here. Damaged cockpit here. Pilot skill zero. Ooh. How long does that last? That is, um, it, it starts the next round, but you cannot flip it down. Oh, pilot skill zero the rest of the game on, on Nora Wexley. The rest of the game. Or Ray. Who was that attack on? I believe that was... Mm, it's got to be Nora, because yeah, that was he Nora. used 3PO. Yep. So Ray with three hits in the box. Three evades from Jim yeah. Frank with auto thrusters there. The way Jim moves his hand, he just looks like a magician. <laughs> the way his dice have rolled, he is a magician. <laughs> Maybe he's a magical space wizard. So he is, yeah, he's using Nora's ability, it looks like, to add a focus result. And so four th hits. Four hits. Oh. oh. And four evades. Oh, we've got somebody leaning into the top of the screen, crinkling the play mat. That person's irritating me, so we're going to yell at them. <laughs> the voice of God hath spoken. And there goes that person that was leaning into my screen. <laughs> Asajj at Nora, spend the target lock here. Three hits again. Oh, my God. Man. Takes another one. Got another shot from the Jakku Gunrunner. Nora's at three left there, I think. Uh, that's what it looks like. And Jakku Gunrunner gets to shoot Nora. Focus for one hit. It is obstructed. Nothing. So it's another damage on Nora Wexley. And Tactician gives Nora a third, second stress, third stress. Ooh. 
Jim <laughs> Frank's dice in these last two rounds have been phenomenal. Yeah, that's uh, <laughs> I I've never seen that many evades in my life. <laughs> Maybe that's because I fly ships with single green dice, but I don't know. That's it's it's wow. Wow is about the best way to put that. So, uh, Nora Wexley has pilot skill zero now. Um, has only two hull left. Ray has eight hull, two shields left. On the other side, we have Jim Frank's scum. Fenrau has not been touched. Jakku Gunrunner has not been touched. Asajj Ventress is down a shield from where she started at, but she's gotten some back with Gonk. No, she hasn't yet. I think they're just piled up on Gonk. Yeah, not... I mean, no, no real reason to right now. I guess maybe one, but it's 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 been more of a move your arc to get the shots while you while you can. Especially, you know, to take down Nora like that because all five dials are down. We start off with Jakku Gunrunner here. It looks like a one straight, and it is a one straight. Ooh, that's not looking good for Nora. We got gonna attempt a tractor here. We've got it, I think. <laughs> Even more stress, I think. Or where is he putting her? Oh, that way. Okay. Going right all the way back there. That's uh probably a move designed to get. Fen Rao, where are they where he wants Fen. Oh, I'm sensing a two talon roll from Fen Rao. I feel it in my bones. Ventress right into Nora Wexley's six there. Push target lock focus. Three straight. No actions, no shield regenerated. Kanan gets the stress off and puts a focus token on. Three straight, that is a green maneuver for Fen. It clears stress. Hmm. Nora Wexley gets zero green dice this turn. I think the only thing that can save Nora is Prayer. if she's at range three. Well, that won't help. It's range two. Then you get, oh, it's range two. Yeah. I mean, I'm guessing, but looking at the table, it's range two. Yeah. It, yeah, yeah, oh, maybe. And they also forgot that Nora Wexley's a uh, pilot skill zero. They screwed that up. Oh. In a way, it's a bummer because Nora Wexley would not have been in tractor range, I don't think. No, she wouldn't have. Ray, three there. I don't know. It's out of range of Asajj Ventress's stress, so it is range three. Ray can shoot anybody here. F shooting the gun runner. And is that... No, that's not through debris. Two hits. One evade from Jim Frank. One damage on Jakku gun runner down to four hull. Now they're going to finally double check this range. It is three. All right, so she does get a single green die. <laughs> Ooh. Yeah, it's, it's over here because target locked for the blank. There's two focus tokens there. Three hits now go into the dice tray. 3PO has to say one to have any chance here, yes? Ooh. 
Nora takes three damage, and Nora Wexley leaves the table. That'll be the only shooting, because the space tug doesn't have anything in arc now. Tyson Sparks picks up his one lonely ray dial. This feels like a long road now. Yeah. And, well, with Ray, we've only... Well, we've lost three shields. Still pretty tanky. Not a half hole yet. Well, maybe if it can kind of skirt around and fire from the edge. I'm not really sure the best way to go about this now. Run and hide. Run and run, hide, cry a little. <laughs> I really like this Nora Wexley build up, despite how rapidly this ended here. Like, the I mean, I feel bad for Nora Wexley that she has to fly around with R two D two and C three PO because that just seems like an <laughs> annoying thing to have to do. But I really like it. It's it gives you some of that flexibility of the three PO Falcon in regards to those dealing with that one green die. R2-D2 regenerates shields on a ship that's beefy. Yeah, I, I don't think I've ever flown Nora without R2-D2. Um, the C-3PO definitely gives it a nice defensive stance, uh, other than just regen regening shields. So a short one maneuver from that tugboat again. And a focus token from Jim Frank. Massage with a three bank. Green maneuver, clear stress from the push to limit last turn. Yeah, coming right up on Ray's tail. Gonk a shield. So shield back on Asajj Ventress puts her at seven hull, three shields. And then pushing the limit for an evade. There's a sloop. Kanan will clear the stress. And two turn for Fen Rao. And that should be green. So yeah, clears the stress, and now Fen can do an action or two with push the limit. I don't think Fen is in range. Yeah, Maybe I'd, boost gets out of there. I don't know if I'd want. I'd almost just stay there and you know stay out of dodge until you can get up nice and close. Wait one more turn. Yeah, it's kind of because because the Falcon's gonna have to go somewhere next turn. Might as well be right in the Fen's arc. Jim Frank very deliberately considering actions here as we reach the 123 mark remaining in this final match. Unable to assign stress. Yep. Fenrau has no shot, so Ray at Asajj Ventress. Add a blank, roll a blank. Use expertise. Four hits on Ventress here. Three hits and a crit. It's got to get something through. And evade. Token. Two shields come off Ventress. She still has one shield left, actually. We didn't get that updated after she gonked one. Two hits and a crit at Ray from the Ventress. Roll a blank and the extra one. Three of aids. Ooh. Ray won't take any damage there. She's a coming Tyson's back. Tyson's going to need more of those rolls, I think. A lot more. <laughs> oh, man. I almost... 
couldn't see the Jakku Gunrunner. It looks so strange from up above. <laughs> it looks like an orange square. <laughs> there is an orange blob just below that debris field there. It, it, I don't know why. That looks so strange from here. <laughs> Almost cartoonish. I don't know if it's the lighting. It or... looks cartoonish from every it, angle. Nah, that's fair. <laughs> Ventress is stressed. Jim Frank playing with some dials. Tyson not, Tyson not with his dial down instantly. It's like things have become complicated here. Tyson's also disappearing off his camera while he checks various other angles. <laughs> Jim Frank still holding all three of his dials. He's got to. He's got to keep them warm. Got to warm them up before they're ready to go. If you're just joining us, this is back to dials broadcasting live from Total Escape Games in Broomfield, Colorado. Jim Frank and Tyson Sparks are playing the final match of this X-wing store championship. I am joined in the booth by Adam Keg of Back to Dial. Back to Dials. Asagraph, not around. Ace has gotten real lame lately. I know, he's so lame. He has, like, work and stuff. Oh, jobs. Why do people have jobs? Oh, yeah, wait, like I'm at work right now. Paying bills and money and stuff. <laughs> so, two turns ago, we saw Nora Wexley leave the table, giving Tyson Sparks a long, long road to hoe here, a tough hill to climb. The Battle of Bunker Hill, which took place on Breed's Hill, but you knew that, right? Because you totally. went to college. Yeah, totally went to college for history. <laughs> he doesn't even know what we're talking about anymore. Do you know when the Battle of Bunker Hill took place? Nope, because I'm an engineer. <laughs> I, I didn't have to learn that. The I American Revolution, we skipped that? Pretty much. <laughs> I can tell you how some semiconductors work. Wow. <laughs> uh... So the job. dials are down here. Jakku Gunrunner with a one turn. Because when you can shoot at Ray, you might as well. I mean, you got more dice than she does. Yeah, I got three ships. And... Oh, yeah. Like, and this is the time where I become kind of a sloppy X-Wing player. Yeah. I... Like, they've got one ship left. I'm flying everything I own in, and let's see what happens. Yeah, just try and get, like, I don't really care what happens to my ships. Let's just throw all the red dice I can. Asajj Ventress with the green maneuver to clear the previous turn stress, but Jim Frank immediately picks that up. Looks like he's going to push the limit on something again. Gonk and push to focus. I believe that that gonk charged the battery, correct? It did not regenerate a shield? Uh, I believe so. I think the gonk battery was dead. Yeah, the gonk battery was empty, so now we have one on gonk, though. Ooh. There goes Fen Rao. Going crazy fast. But it's. I just watch him fly it, and I'm reminded of my love of Suntir Fell because he's going to have an arc here. Yep, he's going to... Oh. Okay, in some combination of boost and barrel roll, he's going to have an arc on Ray here. He's got it. Yep, there it is. Maybe boost and... Still going to have to... Ooh. Did he do it in the wrong order? Maybe. He might have it, Because a barrel though. roll... I think they're looking here, double-checking. Does not look in arc to me from here. I would have. I think it's just out. Push so. to focus. I'd have barrel rolled away first. Yeah, and barrel rolled away and boost. Yeah, like away and slightly down maybe. Asajj puts a stress on Ray.
players are trying to figure out whether or not the nubs count. Do the nubs count? Is the nub being an arc enough? You know, I don't know. I keep that it, it seems to depend on whoever I'm playing against most of the time. Like I'll just kinda let what they they say, Oh, the nubs are in, then I'm like, Oh yeah, the nubs are in. Yeah, it totally counts. But Table Judge has arrived to check Ark. Dan Har's leaning over that table. With a hat. We're getting an extra set of hands here to line this up. We're going to take an overhead photo so we can zoom in here, apparently. <laughs> this is not flying casual. <laughs> Lots of debate. It is out of arc, just barely. Probably with a hair's width. Ray has uh, Ventress in arc, so Ray's ability matters. Range one attack is four dice. So Rerolling the blanks with Ray. Looks like three hits on the table there. And one evade. So shield comes off, one hull comes off, Ventress goes to six hull, no shields. Gonk battery is charged for one shield for next turn. Ventress back at Ray. Hit, hit, crit. Add a blank and re-roll. One evade on those two dice, so two shields come off Ray. We're into Ray's hall. Not looking good for the rebels. It's just hard for Tyson to focus on any one thing right now with so much of it out there. Well, and they're all so enticing. I mean, you got two things with only four hole left. But then you've got Asajj with six, but less, l l pretty, a lot easier to hit. Um, really, though? Three green dice. Like, well, yeah, I guess. Fen so. is three, yes. Yeah, Fen is three. Um, the tugboat's two? Two, yes. But the tugboat's also the least threatening thing on that table. You can't chase the gun runner around and just let the other two do what they want. And the least amount of points. Oh, right. Points, points don't, matter. don't matter. I'm so I'm such in that mindset. Points from just don't matter. We are uh, <laughs> we're uh, about 47 minutes into this final match at this point. They've got an hour and 13 minutes left to play. And this isn't about points. This is... Yes, they matter. If this is you winner takes all. Take Yeah, I mean... You have to take enough points and then stay alive. Yeah, we don't we don't want to take points and have them run around the table for another hour and thirteen minutes. <laughs> I'm gonna start snoring. <laughs> All three dials are down for Jim Frank. There, we are still waiting on Ray's dial from Tyson Sparks. Nora Wexley died a while back now. Well, its dial is down. That dial is down for Ray now. We start things off with a moving tugboat. It went towards the Falcon and focused, because why not go towards the Falcon? Yep, might as well get set up to either basically block there, kind of keep the Falcon uh, where In you want it to. In the middle of the to. table, yeah.
waiting to see actions on Ventress. Push to focus and evade. One bank, which I think fits. We'll know in a minute. Yep. It Just does fit. Very nicely done by Tyson Sparks. Sadly, that means that Jakku Gunrunner has three attack dice. Ooh. Ooh, and it looks like Fen and is, Fen gonna Rao get is going right to get right up there. There. Yeah, not too many options. To looks like uh, Ray is going to have a round. Just a focus. Yeah, already has the target lock, so that's all he really needs. And then he's more open to more maneuvers next turn. Asajj gives Ray a stress token at the beginning of combat. Fenrau throws a lot of dice. Yeah, I'm, I'm waiting for the five again. Target locking this blank. It is painted. Focuses for five hits on Ray. Yep. And a blank green die says Ray takes five. Ooh. Only three left. Ray at Jakku Gunner. Rerolling blanks. Focusing here. All right. Takes three. One not. evade means three damage to the Jakku Gunrunner. It will not die. Tyson really needed to kill that there. A direct yeah. hit or something to get it off the table. Because it's going to throw three green dice at him. Ventress, range two at Ray. Hit and a crit. Ray only gets one die here. Hit, crit. Shaken pilot here. But three dice and a focus token. I think this ends on this attack. Hit, hit, crit from the quad jumper. Raise one lonely die is not going to do it. That, that is the game. does it, folks. In 51 minutes, Jim Frank has defeated Tyson Sparks in the finals of the Total Escape Games Store Championships. For Adam Katnig, sitting next to me these last couple of rounds, for Joe Mazzotti, handling the technical stuff for you today. For all of us at Back to Dials and Total Escape Games, I'm John Stevens. It has been a great day of X-Wing here. Jim Frank has emerged victorious. Our day is done. How was it for you? It was a good day. Uh, I didn't have many wins, but that's okay because we're all just here to have fun and play some X-Wing. And it was a great day. Thank you very much for joining us out there in Twitchville. We are done. We will see you again next time they tell us to run a big X-Wing event. Sounds good. We'll see you guys later. Thank you very much. You have a great day.